Hello, today we're joined by Ignazio Angeloni from the Supervisory Board of the European Central Bank. Ignazio, tell me about the challenges of supervising the euro area. Yes, well, good morning, Nicolas. Um, I would say, if I had to summarize in two words, I would say there are two main challenges. One is the quality of supervision, and the second is the level playing field. So we need to preserve, this is a new authority taking over, we need to preserve and enhance the quality of supervision in the 19 countries that uh, are members of the single supervisory area, uh, and at the same time establish something that did not exist before, the level playing field uh, of supervision in all these countries, because the banks in these countries have been supervised so far by 19 different uh, supervisory authorities, the national supervisory authorities, each with its own approach, style, methods, etc broadly harmonized under uh, international umbrellas, but in general with different approaches. Now we have a single authority, and so with the collaboration still of the national authorities, but we need to bring ahead a common supervisory style, and this is exactly what uh, the SSM is doing. And what are the next steps to be taken to install confidence? Well, we are uh, this year, in 2015, for the first time, um, conducting the regular supervisory process using our own new methods, our own manual of supervision, as we like to call it. And uh, we have already conducted before that an assessment on all the banks, so just to check that the uh, capital levels and the solvency requirements are satisfied. That was a very strict check on all the banks uh, conducted with a single methodology, so that already is in my view, was a big contribution to giving confidence to investors and users of banking services. And now, I think even more, the new supervisory approach will contribute over time to instill confidence. Mm. And is this, is this very much a work in progress that will develop as it goes along over the next few years? We have started uh, the preparation in 2012, so we had about uh, two years uh, to prepare. That's a relatively short period of time. It was very intense, the preparation. So I'd, think, uh, I'd say that uh, when we started operationally last November, we were ready. Uh, but now, of course, we need to refine all our methods and our approaches. And uh, to some extent, this, of course, will take time. Uh, we are already responsible for the supervision. We have all the necessary tools, but of course we will improve further as time goes on. Mm. And is this kind of project uncharted territory? It hasn't really <coughs> been tried before, has it? Not really, not really. I mean, the supervisory landscape in Europe is uh, diversified, as I mentioned, because there were different authorities, but there is a lot of experience. So we are building, it's not a greenfield, we're building from the experience and the expertise of the national authorities that are sitting around the table also in the supervisory board. And so uh, together, using that experience, we, I think we can, uh, we can uh, bring the process uh, along successfully. Excellent. Ignazio Angeloni, thank you very much. Thank you very much.